All right, this is Boxing with the Truth, and I am the Truth. It's uh, August 26th, 2015, and today we are here with Joey Twinkle Fingers Hernandez. How are you doing today, Joey? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Well, I appreciate you taking time to do the interview. I know you got a, a pretty big fight coming up September 8th. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Um, first, I want to uh, let the fans know you fight at Super Welterweight, right? Yes, 154 pounds. However, uh, me and Austin Trout, uh, he decided to fight at 156 this fight. So it'll be a catch weight of 156. Okay, and uh, your pro record is 24 wins, 14 knockouts, 3 losses, 1 draw. Yes, it is. And do you still hold the USBO Super Welterweight title and the WBC uh USNBC Super Walterweight title? No, I, I relinquished those fights uh, for bigger fights. Uh, those are regional belts. Uh, obviously, I still have the belts. I never lost the belts. Uh, I just never defended them. And I'm uh, to uh, uh, hold the winner over Austin Charles to get me in a mega fight. Okay. And you're down in Miami, Florida right now, right? Yes, I am. Okay. First, let's just start in the beginning. How did you get involved in boxing? I got involved with boxing. Uh, my dad used to manage a lot of club fighters. Uh, uh, a couple guys like uh, Wilfredo Ruiz. He fought Shane Mosley for the belt back in '99. Uh, a heavyweight from before named Milton Bowen. Uh, he had a straw weight, uh, Danny Bazooka Nunez. He had a little piece of uh, Carl the Truth Williams. So I mean, I was raised really around the sport. Uh, my dad used to be a good, a good amateur fighter. Uh, and uh, he married my mom, who really just doesn't like boxing. And she uh, picked, uh, she said, pick boxing or me. So uh, he picked her, which is good because I, became, I that, that's how I came into this world. However, so instead of being a fighter, he became a manager. So since I was two, three, four years old, uh, I used to go to a, a lot of fights uh, due to him being a manager and being involved in the sport. So me being around the sport is what I wanted to do. Uh, seeing all these big fights that he would take, he would take me to. Uh, so, I mean, I've been around the sport since I was a kid, uh, but my first amateur fight when I was 14, I'm actually 30 years old now, so you figure I've been boxing for almost 16 years of my life. Okay, and uh, you are a southpaw, so what type of boxing style do you consider yourself having? Uh, I'm a boxer puncher. Uh, I mean, I started off my career uh, as more of a boxer, uh, stick and move type of guy, but as I started climbing up the ranks and fight by fight, I noticed I had some power. So now I feel like I'm more of a boxer puncher, uh, but I'm developing uh, a lot of power. So I feel like I'm a, uh, a boxer. I, I would consider myself a boxer puncher. I mean, I can box, I have great legs, and, uh, and I also can take you out of there if I hit you with a good shot. Okay, so do you have any superstitions or rituals or habits that you do before a fight? Uh, no, uh, I mean, I, uh, big fights like this, I get nervous for. I mean, if you're not getting nervous no more, you should get out of the sport. I think it's common to all humans. I mean, people hide it better than others. But uh, I still get nervous, and in the back, uh, I mean, it still freaks me out a, a little bit. But uh, that those nerves uh, work to my advantage. Uh, I mean, that makes that makes or breaks the fighter. Either the nerves help you out, or they ruin you. And in my in my uh, sense, even. With my little fights to my big fights, I still get nervous in the back, and, uh, and that's why I perform well because I work off instinct and uh, and the nerves. They 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 actually help me out. You mean uh, I mean we're all we're all fighters. We all want to win, but we all respect the sport. And I mean any any, any punch can change a fight. So you know that as a fighter, and uh, a, a, any person who puts on the gloves and knows that the next fight feels those jitters. And either the jitters help you out or they break you. And in my in my sense, uh, I like when I get nervous because I know those are the days I'm gonna have great fights. Okay, so tell me something that your boxing fans don't know about you. Uh, well, I'm uh, I'm an educated man. I didn't come from poverty. Uh, a lot of fighters come from nothing. Uh, they, they're raised on rocks and uh, and tents. And I was uh, raised the right way. Uh, my parents are uh, wealthy. Uh, thanks to them, they have a business, and I've always had everything I wanted. Uh, I'm a businessman myself. I own my own business. Uh, I mean, I make about $10,000 a month here in Miami. I own a catering company. 
uh, that delivers healthy meals, lunch and dinner to, uh, to your house to gain weight, lose weight, and just eat healthy. And everybody's on a healthy lifestyle now, so I own my own business. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm a smart, educated a young man. Uh, I have a high school diploma. Uh, I went two years of college, and I've, I've owned two properties for now for 10 years. So, I mean, I have a head on my shoulders. I do this not for the money. I do this for the passion. It's something I wanted to do. It's something I dreamed about doing. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm doing it to the best of my ability to be the best I can. Okay, so let's talk about your fight that's coming up. Do you consider this the biggest fight of your career? Of course it's the biggest fight of my career. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm fighting Austin Trout, uh, who beat one of my favorite fighters, Miguel Cotto, uh, which I was present that day, which is pretty crazy, because I went over there to New York just to watch Cotto fight Austin Trout, and I seen Austin Trout beat one of my favorite fighters live. And now you uh, fast forward the future three years ahead, and uh, I'm facing Austin Trout, who beat one of my favorite fighters, and who only holds the feats against Canelo Alvarez and uh, Erislan Lara. So, I mean, a win puts me in the category to fight all of them three, and a knockout puts me in a uh, position to be the only one that's ever done that. So it's a win-win situation for me. If I win, I'm in a mega fight versus uh, Canelo Cotto, uh, uh, the winner, because he beat Cotto and Canelo beat him. So it makes sense, and uh, I mean, a win puts me in the fight. Eris Landilara, who's also here from Miami, uh, and it'll be a mega fight here in Miami since we're both from Miami. So I mean, this is the biggest fight of my life. You're talking about one of the best pound for pound uh, guys in my weight class, uh, who to me, I feel has gone, uh, who took a step down uh, since he used to, since when he was when he fought Cotto. He hasn't looked as good as he's been looking, and I feel like that. The wars and uh, the amateur experience that he's had uh, took a toll on him, and I feel this is uh, my time to make a name for myself. Uh, uh, due to a lot of people don't really know who I am because I haven't been on that on that premier boxing uh, big stage or a big main event like I am now. But I mean, on the main event, millions of viewers, uh, and I mean, this is my shot to make a name for myself and uh, change my life. Dollar side. Okay, so let me throw that out there so the fans are aware. Like you said, you are facing Austin Trout, who's 29-2. and two. He is a southpaw like you on September 8, 2015 on the Premier Boxing Champions, which is going to be on Fox, uh, is it Fox Sports 1? Yes, it is. It's okay. going to be uh, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time uh, live. I'll be the main event. So let's talk about that fight a little bit. Let's break it down a little bit. What do you need to do to beat Austin Trout convincingly? Do you think you can win a decision? Uh, I feel like I win a decision if I uh, if I beat the shit out of him. Sorry, my friends for 12 rounds, but I mean I'm not having 10 rounds. I'm not looking uh, to win on the scorecards. I'm, uh, I'm not I'm not looking for the knockout. Also, but I mean uh, looking at his last few fights, like I said, I think he took it. Uh, down from what he used to be. It happens. He's been in wars. It happens, and I feel like this is my time uh, to get him. I don't feel like he's in the top of his game. I don't feel like he's taking me serious because he's been in those big fights versus Canelo, versus Lada, versus Cotto. He looks like he's fighting some kid Joey Hernandez. And I don't think that he's taking me that serious. And I mean, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not looking to win on the scorecards, uh, but I feel like it's a fair match. Uh, we're not fighting in his hometown, we're not fighting in my hometown. We both have the same promoter, uh, advisor, which is Al Heyman. I feel like it's going to be a fair a fair run, uh, but uh, I feel like I would have to beat him decisively since he has the big name to get a decision. However, we are not fighting for a championship belt, so he's not the champion at the moment, so I feel the judges will be biased. And uh, hope the best man win. So, do you think uh, you need to go in there though and actually brawl with Austin and, and rough him up, or do you think you can outbox him? Uh, I'm not looking really to outbox him. I'm looking to get inside, work with his body. Uh, he, he's a great boxer. Uh, he, he has a bigger reach than me, and he's a southpaw. Whenever you have two southpaws that fight each other, it makes it a difficult fight. So, I mean, I'm going to go out there uh, the first couple rounds and see what he has to do. I don't feel like he has the power to hurt me. I've been in there with big power punchers, and they couldn't hurt me. So I doubt that uh, he can hurt me, even though one punch can change the fight. I respect I respect him. 
I respect him as a fighter, but I feel like I got to get it. I got to get in there and work him because I don't feel that he has the confidence in his head. Uh, and if I bring the fight to him, I feel like that mentally, I'm going to break him down. Okay, and for the fans that have never seen you fight, why should they tune in on September 8th to the main event to this fight? Well, yeah, I'm an all-action type of guy. Uh, there hasn't been a fight that, that's not an action win, lose, or draw. I come to fight. I'm charismatic. I'm a white boy. I'm American. And, uh, I mean, you don't see many of me on TV nowadays. Uh, no, I'm not a racist, but everybody likes to see a white boy American come and fight. Uh, and and I, I'm going out there, and I have the charismatic, flashy style. I come and fight. I'm fast. Uh, I'm still young in the sport. And this is my chance to make a name, so I feel everybody should tune in to see a new face in boxing. So where does your career take you if you knock Austin Trout out? If I, if I, if I knock Austin Trout out, it changes my life uh, completely. I mean, I know boxing. Uh, I've been raised around the sport. Like I said, my dad's been a manager uh, for a while. Uh, he's not my manager, however, being that I've been around the sport, I know how the, how, how the sport works. I mean, like I said, I knock out Austin Trout. Uh, it puts me in line to fight the winner of Canelo Cotto. Uh, it all makes sense. He beat Cotto, Canelo beat him. Cotto wins, it makes sense. I mean, he beat Lada by decision, and he, uh, sorry, he lost a lot of by decision. He lost to Cotto by, I mean, he lost to Canelo by decision. He lost a lot of by decision. I knock him out, what is that going? You know, I, I, I did something that they couldn't do. Those, those are the highest guys in my weight division. So it, it just, it, it clinches me and fight, fight them. And I mean, it changes my life all, all the way around in boxing with the fans, uh, money, everything. It's a, it's a huge fight. And a, a win puts me up there and a knockout even puts me better. Okay, so tell me somebody that inspires you in your life inside and outside the ring. Uh, the one that inspires me is my son and my family. Uh, I mean, I've been down, I've been out. Uh, life, life, life's about up and down. I mean, when I was down, the other ones that really support me is my family and uh, friends and all the leeches and all the so-called associates. When you lose, they turn your back. When you win, they come back. And then, I mean, I've lost. I've won. <clears throat> I've won what I wasn't supposed to won. And I've lost, so I've seen different sides. I've seen how people change on you and talk about you. And when you're winning, they love you. But the ones that always are there for you and your family, especially my son, uh, who I... Who I who, I do it for, and I want to make him proud. Uh, I see him as a young, uh, young kid. He's six years old, like I was, and I want him to be able to say one day, "My dad was a superstar." Okay, well, I want to promote the fight one more time before we end the interview. Austin Trout versus Joey Hernandez, September eighth, Premier Boxing Championship, Fox Sports One. They both are southpaws. They both got tremendous records, and they're both trying to, uh, you know, be even more than they already are in this sport so definitely tune in because I think this is going to be a really interesting fight I mean it could go either way so um, like you said you're, you're trying to, to, to knock them out or, or, or do something and this will open tons of doors for you Austin Trout uh, he might not be the same guy that everybody thought he once was he's going to have to prove himself again so I think for the fans this is definitely going to be a good main event uh, anything you want to say uh, Joey to your fans or your supporters uh, before we end no, I just want to thank everybody uh, for me getting this, uh, this opportunity I want to thank Al Heyman I want to thank you Junior, uh, who also works with me, to, uh, that who brought me to Al Heyman, never give up on me. And I want everybody to tune in and see a new face in boxing, man. And, uh, I mean, I, it's free boxing for all. It's free. I mean, you don't got to pay for it. You're, you're talking about a guy who was a two-time world champion who only lost his best. And you have a kid that's coming up, uh, came up the hard way, uh, fight by fight, and got myself into this position. It's my heart, my will, and never give up. So I feel everybody should tune in to September 8th and see, see a new face, and I guarantee you it's an upset. Don't blink. All right, and the truth has spoken.